Is eczema herpes? And if it is herpes, did I give herpes to my child? If you test positive for herpes, you are not alone. Here we learn, here we heal, and here we overcome. You are more than herpes. Welcome. Welcome to my channel. It's Coach Shannon Singleton here, and I help women stop outbreaks and break free from shame so that they can get laid. If you want to know more about me and my background, don't hesitate to visit this link right here. Now, let's get into it. Is eczema herpes? No, eczema is not herpes. Eczema is a top it's atopic dermatitis, okay? But let's not stop here. Just don't watch this video and be like, okay, eczema is not herpes. Let me scram. There's this thing called eczema herpeticum, okay? Eczema herpeticum. Eczema herpeticum is also known as a Kaposi varicelliform eruption. It is a severe skin infection that occurs in individuals with pre-existing eczema or atopical dermatitis. It is caused by the herpes simplex virus, HSV, typically HSV-1, but occasionally HSV-2. Eczema, eczema herpeticum occurs when the herpes virus enters the skin through breaks and cracks caused by eczema, resulting in a widespread and rapidly spreading infection. The conditions is characterized by the following features. One, painful and itchy blisters or fluid-like fluid-filled lesions that are often grouped together. Two, redness, swelling, and inflammation of the affected skin. Three, formation of punched out ulcers and crusted sores. Four, fever and fever such as fatigue. Five, enlarged and tendered lymph nodes near the infected area. Six, possible involvement of the eye if the infection spreads to the eyelids or surrounding regions. Eczema herpeticum is considered a medical emergency and requires immediate medical attention if left untreated. It can lead to complications, including um, the dissemination of the virus to other organs, systemic infections, and potential life-threatening outcomes. Diagnosis of eczema herpeticum is typically based on the clinical principles presentation and examination of the affected skin. However, laboratory tests such as viral cultures and PCRs may be performed to confirm the presence of the herpes virus. Treatment, treatment for eczema herpeticum involves the use of antiviral medications such as oral acyclovir. Topical antibiotics may also be prescribed to prevent secondary bacterial infections. Prevention of eczema herpeticum focuses on managing and controlling underlying eczema or atopic dermatitis. This includes regular moisturization, avoiding triggers that exaggerate eczema symptoms, and practicing good skin hygiene. It is also important to avoid contact with individuals who have active herpes lesions or systematic herpes infections. If you or someone you know has eczema and is experiencing symptoms consistent with eczema herpeticum, it is crucial to seek immediate medical attention. A healthcare professional can provide an accurate diagnosis and recommend appropriate treatment options to manage the infection and prevent complication. I will put my resource link in the description box below so that you can do further research yourself. But once again, eczema is not herpes. It is a type of dermatitis. But there is this thing called eczema herpeticum when the herpes virus could enter in through the breaks and the sores and the cracks that are caused by eczema. Okay. Every Monday, I'm dropping a tip. Every Wednesday, like today, I'm educating you about the virus. And every Friday, we are dismantling the stigma. So please like, share, subscribe. Your support is needed and appreciated. I am at war with the herpes stigma until our community feels comfortable being open about their status and proud of their sex sexuality. Welcome. I just want to say this too. 
I go to therapy and I've been in therapy for almost three years and it's nothing like having someone who actually gets you on this level. So I just want to say, I appreciate you. One thing that I've learned is from my own therapist is not about the actual school that teach you how to be a therapist and show up for people is the real life experiences. So I just want to tell you, thank you because this is doing so much. And so I even have therapy on Thursday before I came here, like to this group. So I just want to let you know it's certain things that we get, or I'll speak for myself, but that I can get from you that I can't get from someone else that doesn't walk and live in this world. So I just want to say I appreciate you and thank you very much. Thank you.